that was quite a procedure. And um, so it's not, it's a little sensitive, this area. But I'll try. So what I do mainly is I use um, very standard uh, marching drumming and Swiss drumming based uh, things. Uh, uh, I used to play exclusively traditional grip. Um, and I changed that recently to more match grip because I wanted to play more open hand. I look stupid doing that. It's just not the same. You like that better? It's weird. But, uh, so I, I and uh, of course, uh, as I get older, I also get lazier, so it's much easier to play uh, match grid. So, um, but most of the stick tricks that I do or used over the years um, came from the traditional grip position. And I use a lot of, you know, back sticking things. I try not to use them anymore. Because you have to be very careful. It can look cool in the right context. You know, if you're on stage with, you know, a bunch of girls and guys in bikinis and short pants and there's glitter in the air and uh, confetti, you do. It's kind of cool in that world. But if you're on the... Not so cool. <laughs> so, um, what I use is basically back sticking, which is basically traditional grip left hand position to traditional grip right hand position, basically. Exercise tick tick butt butt tick tick butt butt tick tick. <laughs> fill with the right hand. Yes, six note triplets. One, two, three, four. Tick tick butt butt tick tick. Or just one each. Tick butt tick butt tick butt tick butt. With the other hand, and then mix them up. And uh, uh, you can do it the on the signal. Uh, or um, I use like a three point turn, which is traditional, traditional palm down, matched. One, two, three point turn, or helicopter. That's cool. You can also do that on the stick. Same thing with the right hand. I use uh, twirls like this one, which is the total pose of twirl, I'm sure you all know it. From practicing in front of the mirror. So, that's that one. You can not use it not only to pose, uh, but also. Yeah, but also to play. So if you only do one turn like this, and you keep holding the stick like that between the index and middle finger, and just uh, end after one rotation. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Okay. So. traditional grip position and I twirl the stick once around my middle finger from three o'clock to three o'clock. Okay, so back and forth, back and forth, one rotation only. But in order to make it look like it's a continuous rotation in one direction, I created this amazing optical illusion where I <laughs> rotate my forearm. So when I'm turning backwards, I rotate my forearm and it looks like it's still going forward. So I do this. Then I add this excellent component. 
and it looks like it's going on the road. It's very easy, it's just quite a stable grip, and you can go. And uh, not drop a stick to it. I also use that a lot, you know, just for showy stuff, but off course, not on the jazz team. Only uh, when it's bubblegum. Very simple tosses like this one. Um. Then I beef it up a little, make it a little faster, add some more notes. But it's basically a thing at 3 4, and 4 4 you can do it in any signature. But I do everything in time. It's essential to do everything in time because you have to throw the stick in time, catch it in time play in time again. So everything's in time. If I do this, for example, you have to always make sure to do everything in time. Like, for example, when I do the high toss, catch on three, for example.